All right, section three. This is an important section. If you don't get this one, you're going to be stuck as well. Uh, it's about maps and parts of a maps and things like that. Um, a map is one way to study geography. People who make them are called cartographers. They're important because they can give you a ton of information in one document. You can see where the mountains are, the lakes, the rivers, the oceans, the cities, the capitals. Uh, you can even have population maps that show you where um, the great, you know, the greater amount of people are located. But here are the four parts of a map. You need to bring these written down into class or have put them in the Google Doc. Uh, there's a key or a legend. These, if, if you don't have these, it's still considered a map, but it's not a map that you can actually read because it won't give you the information that you need. Okay, you got a key or a legend. Okay, you got a scale that's used for showing distance. A directional arrow basically just shows you where uh, north is. It orients your map. Okay, and you've got a compass rose, which shows you north, south, east, west, northwest, northeast, etc., etc. You have to have those things. If you have a directional arrow, you just can make the uh, compass rose from that directional arrow, and then you'll have it already. So you got to have a key, a scale, directional arrow, and a compass rose. You don't have those things. It's not a map that you can really read and know, get all the information you need. Uh, you need to have those things. You need to have a scale so you can tell how far things are apart. If you want to know if you're going to go from Sacramento to San Francisco, how many miles it would be, the scale will help you figure that out. You'll use your ruler, and it'll give you a certain amount of distance, like one inch equals 10 miles. You put your ruler down, figure out how many inches, multiply that by the number of miles. Okay, so which one is which? You can see in the left-hand corner is a compass rose. The middle there is a directional arrow. Bottom right is a uh, scale. And top right-hand corner is a key gives you all the information you need. What are the types of maps? There's three types of maps. Political map, physical map, thematic map. Okay, political map shows you countries, states, districts, etc. The physical map, like is the one we have in the back, shows elevations, mountains, oceans, rivers, things like that. Um, you know, if you have symbols on the map, they need to be in the key. That's why you have to have a key or a legend that tells you what the symbols mean. If you have a map that has a ton of symbols, but there's no key to tell you what they mean, then how would you know what it is? It wouldn't make any sense to the person reading the map. So you make sure that you have a key on any of the maps that you have. Thematic map shows maps of uh, a theme on a map, basically the information. This is when you can get like a, uh, a, uh, a population map, population demographic. So it's a thematic map. The, the, the theme is population. Okay. Then there's three types of map projections. you got Mercator. You got Eckert four, and you got Lambert. What, and I want you to try to identify when you get to school tomorrow which one of the projections is the map are the maps in the room. First, Mercator shows accurate dis direction, but area and shapes are severely distorted at the poles. This was used by sailors for true direction. I believe we have one of those in this room. If you look around, yeah, you might be able to find a Mercator. Um, and the next is Eckert four. It's a uh, shows accurate shape and size of the continents, but water and areas are expanded to fill in the area. It's good for data and collection, like in a classroom or a lab. I believe that one is in this room as well. So you try to find it. Think about how, by looking at how it could help you in a classroom and collecting data. And then the last one is going to be a Lambert projection. It's going to come up here in a second. And that is the one type of map that we don't have per se there is I believe if you look at the uh, the maps that we have here part of one of the maps does have a Lambert projection on both sides you can see it and it's used for mapping the hemispheres okay and it shows accurate distance but shape and size are distorted at the edges it's basically showing you from above the poles make sure you fill out the Google Doc or you bring questions with you to class tomorrow have a great day